Nearly two decades in business, Sticky Lips Barbecue is closing its restaurant on Culver Road in Rochester. The owner blames increased competition and not being able to make uh, put the money back into the business because of renovation. Selena Lewis joins us live from Culver Road now. Selena, this is kind of a landmark, at least in that part of the city. They just did a major expansion there. Now what? the sign here at their Sticky Lips location on Culver Road says they will be closing their doors. That last chance for everyone to get their barbecue fix in before they close on October 9th. For Howard Nielsen, Sticky Lips Barbecue on Culver Road has been so much more than his restaurant or a business. It was a very difficult decision. This is my baby. This is the first Sticky Lips. We filmed Man vs. Food here. Uh, I've had great staff throughout the years, and we were like family. Clearly, others felt the same when the news of the closing came out. We just put the news out this morning that we were closing. We had people call from North Carolina, some of our old customers, sending their condolences to us and wishing us well. Those loyal customers who were not in North Carolina came by as soon as they heard. Who's usually my weekly lunch partner, and I said, let's go over to Sticky Lips, they're closing. So we come here occasionally, so we thought we'd come here for one last time. Nielsen said this was the last thing he wanted to do, especially after pouring money into renovations just last year. It's kind of disappointing. It's a great place. He put a lot of money into it, and uh, I'm sorry to see it go. Sticky Lips lovers aren't completely out of luck, though. They'll just have to drive a little bit farther for their barbecue fix. We'll probably go to Jefferson Road, yeah. I will for sure. Again, there will still be that location of Sticky Lips on Jefferson Road, but it won't be right down the street from Channel 8. Maureen. All right, Selena, thank you. The owner of Sticky Lips owns that entire complex on Culver Road and says it will likely be repurposed into two different restaurants in the future.